Hey guys, it's um, June 13th, 2023, and I had these words called, Can You Imagine? And they're very cool. I hope you like them. All right, can you imagine it? Can you see the land flowing with milk and honey? When will this be? When my son Jesus Christ rules the earth, much will change from now until then. Before this time, one with man's eyes will not be able to see the land with cows and flowers. Man will bring destruction to the earth for selfish gain. Much will be ruined and unsafe. Man in his feudal wisdom believes he can make a perfect society. They wish for a new Tower of Babel where they can choose who exists and how life will be. They aim at peace while preparing with planned murders. They aim at perfect foods that have no flaws, but without my wisdom, they will kill humans as they proceed. They aim at controlling people for peace and obedience, and they will not like the results. They will create people of wickedness, evil, and violence. They aim at playing creator and God over man, but they lack the skill and wisdom to achieve their goals. Why? They are prideful and greedy. They want money and power at any cost. They have been deceived by the evil one. Before the mark of the beast and after the rapture, man will make choices that are eternal. To choose me will bring a man to the land of milk and honey. To choose man will bring a man to evil. Be careful. Choose me at every turn. Man will soon have trickery and deceptive ways. Keep your focus on me to avoid a misstep. Man already has in motion the events to come. Do not say words about them. Just sing, dance, and worship in the times to come. Do not give your ear to listen to their lies. Read my word. Read of the reign of Jesus Christ. See how I placed on the hearts of my prophets to store in my word for this time, the truth to come. When you read, slow down. Take a moment to ponder the words. Ponder a world where all these things will occur. Imagine a world where God is worshiped and not mocked. Imagine a world where goodness, love, and mercy are the norm and not deceit, evil, or hate. Imagine a world where all of the food is healthy and untouched by scientists' efforts. Imagine a world where the leaves of my trees heal and the fruits of my trees nourish. Imagine a world without murder, theft, and difficult labor to make ends meet. Imagine a world where the roads are named after holy and righteous traits. Imagine a world where the road that leads to this place is called the highway to holiness because all within it are indeed holy. Imagine a world where life lasts as I intended many more years than you have seen now. Imagine a world with no disease. Imagine a world where all agree upon how to express their faith. Imagine a world where respect for the fathers of the faith exist. Imagine a world where the water purifies. Imagine a world where all share out of kindness. Imagine a world where it is safe to not lock your home. Imagine a world where everything has been designed and thought through for thousands of years so it is perfect. Imagine a world where generations all see eye to eye. Imagine a world that has real products made from their natural source. Imagine a world where the younglings respect their elders. Imagine a world without manipulation, fear, and anxiety. Imagine a world where people have been restored to health in every way. Imagine a world without need of doctors. Imagine a world where doing the works of one's hands brings joy and satisfaction without fatigue. Imagine a world where all can see Jesus before them. Imagine. 
I will have Julie give you verses to read that are of this time. While reading, imagine the life, imagine the people, imagine being there, stop to ponder. Keep this perception in your mind. You will need to express it and share it with all of the half-borns when they come to me. Tell them of the rule of Christ on earth. Give them the hope you have. Some of the half-borns will go through some difficult times for exchanging their old life for the new. Help them to have hope of what is next. What is better than hope? Being there. Soon, church, soon you will see Jesus, the Christ, reigning from the land of milk and honey. Rejoice. What is to come is unprecedented. No one can imagine what I have in store for the land of milk and honey. Rejoice. The best is yet to come. God. Um, I'll put some verses after this with some music. And uh, it'll just be the references. You have to look them up yourself because some of them are long and some of them are little pieces. But um, I'll put that with some music. And then um, I'll see you next time.